Tony. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Hi, this is interview number four I've done with um, Battlecross. Uh, first one was with Gumby. Trust Pest America. Awesome. With Five Finger. Yeah, man. Very excellent fucking tour. And uh, I can't remember, I don't know if. I guess War of Will was about to come out. Well, Trespass, I don't think it was War of Will came out no, in 2013. Right, right, right. So we were talking about that, and uh, you know, I thought it was kind of ironic when I got the press release for Rise to Power, because that could be taken many different ways, and I was telling Don, War of Wills was just such a monster fucking album, you know, and, you know, okay, Rise to Power, you know, may not be the band rising to power, you know, but my initial thinking was, you guys are fucking up there already, in my opinion, oh, thanks, because man. of War of Will, you know, so, you know, how do you, the whole War of Will cycle, you know, how do you think that all went for you is... To, to me, from my perspective, it was a pivotal moment, or not moment, but period of time where I felt like we did a lot of really cool shit. And it all began with Orion Fest. And uh, at Orion Fest, which was in Detroit in uh, June of 2013, they actually let FYE sell our album early at the FYE tent. Which was insane. And wow. I think we sold like 300 copies. Wow. Which is nuts. That day. So that was just the beginning. And then we did uh, Mayhem Fest, and uh, the other two was after that with a bunch of great bands. So I think that um, that album cycle definitely uh, was a, a big, huge thing for Battle Cross. So. Now, Alex, you toured some on War of Will touring, though, no? right? Yeah, I got the uh, the last last bit of it. Uh, I started playing with them in July. So yeah, I caught the last there, one. Thing. Guys. Yeah, we kind of threw them to the wolves too because there, there were some kill switch dates on that. There were some kill switch shows and there were some headlining shows wow. that, we, that we just did in between. Nice. Yeah. And uh, I know that we're all big kill switch fans, and that was just a really cool thing for wow. Alex to just be like, "Here you go, let's, let's play with kill switch engage." You know, yeah. just, you know <laughs> throwing right into it. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah was hey, really if you're gonna get your feet wet, and your miles are drop right at the pool. You know. Yeah. What I'm exactly. Absolutely. The uh, the new album I have, I try to get a. Uh, release before I saw you guys tonight to kind of get talk more about it, but I didn't have it yet from the press. Um, the yeah. only song I've heard, obviously, is, is Not Your Sleeve. Um, and, you know, the first thing I heard was the drums. And the drums are fucking monster, dude. Um, I, I gotta give it to you, you know. Then when, you know, Kyle comes in and just fucking blows it away and the guitars are just mad, but the, the drums really kind of stuck out knowing that there was the, the change there, you know, and I'm like, what's the drummer? So I'm like, you know, fucking tore the part, dude. Thank you. Dude, <laughs> Alex fucking Ben, remember Very that Very good. Yeah, dude. Just saying that right now, I want to blow this, I want to blow this guy up because he's fucking Alex Ben, the greatest drummer we've ever jammed with in the history of time. So just uh, and at that, that part, I'll too, right? Oh, man, come on. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that's your show. Whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, but I think this past week on uh, Devil's Dozen, it was like number four. Um, awesome. It, it yeah. just, it just, it's a shorting song. Uh, what do you guys got for us for this album? Um, oh, is that is that typical of what you have, or it's no? That's just a tip of the iceberg, man. Really? Cool. I, in my opinion, this uh, album uh, Rise of Power is very dynamic because. For example, the song uh, Not Your Slave is very groovy, very fucking slamming, very like just heavy and in your face. And you'll see live, it's just very like, it's so easy to get into as a guitar player because it's just fucking slamming, you know what I mean? But then there's other songs that are like quicker, more thrashy, and there's a little more like dark, blacking kind of shit. There's even some acoustic intro type stuff. Cool, wow. And then there's like, just more of the classic Battle Cross sounding tracks too. So, in, from my perspective, there's there's no no boundaries, there's no walls, there's no box to put this band in because we just want to play what we want to play in the moment and, and hopefully people will like it. Now, how do you and Hiron work the guitar parts out? Do, do you know? Does one guy work? You know, come up with the riffs, or do you both bring we, riffs to the band? Yeah, and we both definitely bring riffs. And, yeah, absolutely. Don brings riffs too. Uh, he plays guitar as oh, well, so oh, cool. he'll okay. bring his his stuff to the table too. And um, actually, one of the songs that he wrote uh, is called. Absence, uh, it became Absence, and uh, we'll be playing that song. I tonight. think you said that's another one so, that you guys play live. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Can't wait. Killer. Yeah. And tomorrow, actually, uh, we're Same, releasing. The Vitus show, so. Yeah. We'll, release, we'll be releasing uh, another single called Spoiled. Um, that kicks in. It's a little more like rocking. Like, wait, what, what is this? What is this? And the okay. vocals come in, you're like, holy shit. And then it's just fucking. You know what I mean? So I should, so. I should get a press release tomorrow for that? I hope so. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you definitely cool. will. Yeah, Excellent. 619 or 629. Yeah. I was telling, you know, we were we were talking beforehand. I was talking to PJ that, you know, of social media and, you know, all, how a band's attack social media. I think Battle Cross almost leads the way with the way you Sick. guys do so many different things. Uh, you know, uh, I know Piron's had a couple, you know, ask me anything in the next 10 minutes yeah. on Facebook or yeah. on Twitter or, yeah. you know, the meet and greets and the signings. And uh, my son, I picked him up a signed vinyl and a Battle Cross flag, which I'm hoping to get somebody to sign for him yeah. later on today. Do you have it here? I do have it. It's, awesome. it's out in the car. Yeah. Um, and actually, I had the sticker that came with it, and Don was nice enough to take a picture. It's on the back of my car. I drive all, all around with it. So Hell yeah, I'm man, a huge awesome. Battle Cross fan, dude. That's so, awesome. Um, awesome. You know, but you guys just lead the way, I think, you know, and, and uh, you know, I think it just, obviously you're building your fan base, you know, but I was telling them like back in my day, I, I couldn't touch anybody. I couldn't talk to anybody. I couldn't interact with anybody. Right. You know, ACDC and, and, and all those guys, uh, not just mentioned ACDC, but anybody. Yeah. Um, so you you yeah. got to dig it though, you know, being yeah. able to interact with the fans like that. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I wasn't uh, in the scene and, and alive when that was in, at that time, but um, I think there's something mysterious about having a band that is on a pedestal you know what i mean there is there's there's something that is that is gravitating about that because it's almost like okay they're they're a rock star they're they're untouchable and then when you see them in front of your face it's very special you know what i mean so that that is kind of a plus side to that uh yeah the way things kind of i guess were maybe sure. are in some ways still but for us in this day and age you know with the internet and everything else everything is so hands-on and if and if you want people to remember you, you have to have a personal experience with them. You know what I mean? That is the number one best way. If I were to come up to you and tell you about a band, if I recommended it to you, you would you might take my word for it instead of just reading an ad online. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. having a personal connection with a band is, is extremely important. That's why it's important at a show to go talk to people and be active and be visual and be, you know, in in the scene. You know what I mean? You know, and, and it's just so cool because like, you know, people can post uh, Snapchats and, and Instagrams and you know, it's, it's a lot of time when they tag somebody, that person will retweet it and follow it. It's like, yeah. holy fuck, fuck, yeah. you're here on That's or, great. Or Tony just retweeted that, that, something, you know. That, in a sense, that is personal. You know <laughs> the, yeah, I mean? it's very, very cool. You know, that is I know that you yeah. saw my message and you retweeted it, whether, exactly. whatever, you right. know, and that's, that's sharp, you know. Totally. Yeah. yeah, very cool. So uh, what do you guys got planned for, let's say you guys got four or five days left. Um, obviously, you're going to continue touring your half. I mean, the album comes out in August, so anything yeah. you can talk about, anything. Six, uh, yeah. August 15th, right? Uh, August 21st. August 21st. Yep. August 21st. Cool. And uh, actually, we're doing um, uh, four C release shows. It begins in Detroit. Uh, where Why Detroit? From. Just because we're <laughs> no. yeah, right. right? Uh, at, at our hometown venue, which is the Token Lounge West cool. End. Cool. Very and, cool. And uh, then we're doing we're doing four shows total. And then after that, we're doing um, uh, Guar. So with Butcher Babies. With That's Butcher right. Babies. You guys are back here August 25th in Millville. Okay, Mil awesome. Millvale? Yeah. Millvale. I've never been there. Uh, uh, I know Mr. we're Smalls, doing, yeah. we're doing uh, Reading. We're doing Reading yep. as well in September. Yeah, yep. i got to get my son to one of them shows. But, so, yeah, that's yeah. what I that's... fucking forgot Crowbar and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got Crowbar and Lord Dying Now. You take a little yes. break and then you got yep. Guar and, and Butcher Babies. I mean... Yep. It's going to be sick. Come on. It, and then there's more stuff in the works too for after that, which okay. I can't say yet because right. it's not confirmed. Well, Alex can say. What do you got? Go ahead. No, what else you got after that? Come on. You can tell me. It's all right. You're the new guy. Come on. Yeah, right. It's yeah. just not going to be recorded. <laughs> yeah. What's but. your What's your take on the whole experience? Uh, you know, being the part of these guys. Did, did you, you know, were your friends? Did you know about, you know, the band beforehand? How they got a hold of you? You know, it's just a, as far as that, I mean, it's a privilege to be able to do it. Uh, I love the band. I love the guys. And yeah, I mean, I knew of them for sure. Um, and when I got hit up for the opportunity, it was just like, yeah, you know, like we had lots of mutual friends and different stuff like that. So it all kind of fell into place and I think really made sense. And since then, it's been a smooth ride. It's been a great experience, man. How are they on the road? Are they really nice guys? They seem nice guys, but I mean. Dude, yeah, I mean, seriously, just hanging out with them, it kind of like molds me, you know? Like I'm I'm the youngest one in the band, so yeah. to be around a bunch of like older dudes that like, are, it's kind of like, hey, this is the way it should be, you know? It molds me to go, man, like I look up to these guys yeah. and I see the way that they are with their fans, that it's something truly special. It, so, it, like it's I've amazing. never seen, really yeah, yeah, I mean, I've played with lots of bands, but they do things that I've just never seen before like great things you know where i could see that they genuinely like care about every single person who comes out to the shows to see them so i think that's really cool it's just uh it's an experience for me you know 